Ladies and gentlemen, you may be aware that we are home to the oldest living language still in use. In addition, this is also amongst the oldest continuing civilizations in the entire world. Our next event depicts the genesis, the evolution of one of the oldest civilizations. This act, this stunning act, has been choreographed by Shamak Davar and performed by his dance company. And the person who has lent his voice to this act is none other than our very own Ulaga Nayagan Kamal Hasanavargal. Kamal Sir Rodia Kuralil, Tamil Muri, Tamil Kalacharam, Tamil Nodia Pirimaye, Kanboma Kalthondri Mantondra Kalate, Walod Muntondri Muttakodi. An excerpt from the Purapurul Benbamale, a treatise from the 6th century, describes me as the one that existed before agriculture. I have seen kingdoms come and go. I have seen battles of wit and more. Amidst each of you, I am here to tell a story. The greatest of them all. The Tamar Soils story. My Tamar Man. Welcome. I am everywhere. I was there when the first block of wood was carved. The first king was crowned. The first ship set to sea. And I am there when all the glory now lies beneath the sand. The value of what we unearth. A broken pot, a dirtied coin, a wooden toy, or a rusted iron tune from 4,000 years ago is as priceless and timeless as the history it comes from, the Tamar land that it comes from. This history begins at the beginning of time itself. Our culture took its first steps along with the early man. The village of Adirambakam holds stone tools as old as 1.5 million to 385,000 years of age. Mailadum Pare unearthed tools and rock art from 4,200 years ago. We were witnesses to the age of iron, smelting and wielding its power at a time as old as 2000 BC. Able to generate our own heat of more than 1,500 degrees Celsius. This was just the beginning. Then came the time of the Leaping Tiger, the Chora Empire. Twin fish, the Pandya Empire.
and the glorious bow and arrow, the emblem of the Cheras. of Tamil royalty under whom flags soared high and the land flourished and Tamil rejoiced. The Cheras, the Cholas and the Pandyas. It was a time of true innovation. It was a time of the people. We were industrious, even before it was a word in the West. Dating back to the 6th century BC, we used terracotta pipes for irrigation. Establishing our core livelihood, agriculture and farming. Society began to thrive, life was rich and livelihood grew under the able administration of the kings. In the first century, the great Karigala Churan built the oldest of dams, Kallane or the stone dam over the river Kaveri, operational even after 2000 years of its existence. The 10th century Chola creation, the Viranarayanapuram Reservoir, built by man, nourishes us with water till date. And as agriculture prospered, trade made its way. We traveled and traded with lands near and far, all the way up to Philippines. Owing to the vision of a great Chola king, Rajendra Choran, we crossed the unforgiving Indian Ocean in the 10th century. He was the first to introduce the concept of an admiral. The INS Rajendra of the Indian Navy is a salute to that man and his marvels. the sea was still a stranger and the shores became our friends. We were a civilized society, educated in the ways of life and the needs of those around us. In Kiradi, pots and earthen vessels bore names of their owners. A democratic election for the village head held in the 10th century under the rule of Parandagat Choram shows our people as able thinkers that they are. This thought, this community, this Tamar built the culture and society of yesterday and today. And our culture is as vast as the minds that created them, with a contribution to every form of art. Our martial art, Thilambam, the dance of the wooden staff, showcases utmost discipline, showmanship and grit. <laughs>
bringing with it the surge of energy since the time of Kalitugai. An ancient text comes as port like none other. Yer Thalvudal, or embracing of the bull, famously known as Jallikattu, a sport of the masses. elegance of Bharatanatyam. Temple and the Five Rathas, the Museum of Indian Architecture. Over two thousand years ago, the Pandian king began three scholarly institutions called Sangams. Tulgapiyam is one of the oldest books of grammar for a language of today. Aindinai spoke of the vast terrain and their stories. Kurunji, Mullai, Marudam, Nadal, and Palai. Mm -hmm. 
and the Silapadigaram brings to light a progressive practices such as Sakyar Kut, a dance form where all are seen as equal. equality comes the hero of her times a feminist icon blazing through a courtroom of injustice fighting to prove her husband's innocence bearing the anklet of truth a truth that the king refuses to see so let's break the anklet she says spill the queen's pearls bang goes the second anklet the king is shocked to see the scattered rubies the third and final anklet breaks the truth engulfs not only the court of the king but the entire city of madurai literature covered the ways of life and has nurtured many voices over the years tirukural the treatise for the whole world holding in it 1330 verses and 133 chapters about the ways and doings of man is an ode to poetry itself poet's statue the tiruvalluvar statue in kanyakumari is testament to that our national bard bharatiyar sang songs of liberation and his disciple bharatidasan carried the legacy bringing reform to society and the tamil people of today put us on the map with our soaring gdp pioneering at every touch in healthcare automobile and technology the tradition of art has now evoked a love for cinema boasting of one of the most inspiring creative industries tamil cinema is a benchmark of excellence in entertainment and our tamil has grown far beyond this land this man we are part of the world residing in 180 countries around us no story comes without its hardships shaken by tsunamis the floods the earthquakes and the droughts our people face the hardest and the most trying of times we rose stronger our legacy ever growing and as we witness the magic together it is no more just my story 
but ours. This is our world and these are our people.